going to be talking about the use of uh, CAR T cells in ovarian cancer. Uh, stands for chimeric antigen receptor T cells. It's a new type of immunotherapy that's been very effective in hematopoietic malignancies um, and certain types of leukemia and lymphomas. And now investigators are uh, trying to leverage this technology for solid tumors and ovarian cancer among them. Uh, so I'm going to start off by just giving an overview of the history of CAR T cells briefly, what they are, and um, then how they've been effective for certain other cancers, uh, and then go into some of the work people are doing to try to get this to work in ovarian cancer. So looking at the different targets that people are using, and very briefly some of the clinical data that we have, which is very limited. There's, there's preclinical data and there's hypothetical data uh, that one could use to justify the use of this therapy in a clinical trial. Um, and, and more and more, it's somewhat akin to some of the molecularly targeted agents. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be preclinical data in the tissue type of the same cancer as is studied. It just needs to have the appropriate target. And so there are several targets um, or antigens on ovarian cancer. Uh, that would be amenable to this therapy, at least in principle. There's one called NYESO1, uh, although this might be better suited for a TCR cell, which is very similar to um, a CAR cell. Uh, then there's um, uh, MUC uh, type genes, so this is um, uh, this is a gene that's expressed in most ovarian cancers. Uh, you, some people may know it as C, uh, CA125. Um, the ectodomain of this gene is cleaved, and we can measure that in the blood. But it retains um, part of it that's sticking out of the cell surface that would be a target for ovarian or for a CAR T cell.